Hello everybody, welcome back to some bit more Brotato. We are jumping in again. I can't remember what character we're up to, I'll be honest. I think we played as loud last time. That was the win that we got, right? Um, and now we're jumping into the multitasker, which is the character I think I was talking about last time as well. This one seems insane. Plus 20% damage. You can equip 12 weapons and minus 6% for every weapon that you have. Okay. This seems nuts. I wonder, are we going to get to choose extras at the start? But I think for this run, I'm going to go with the double barrel shotgun. And I see... Oh. Ah. I thought it would unlock the danger levels for each character, but it unlocks them overall. So I guess we're going to play on uh, danger level one. I thought it would be like an ascension level pair character, but honestly, considering the amount of characters, I do understand why it isn't, because it would take an insane amount of time to get all the characters up to the maximum level. Um, but I'd like to see like a, 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 a pair character ascension level as well. I think that could be pretty cool. Um, but yeah, maybe we'll go for guns. I've been um, looking at your guys' comments from the first episode, and I, I understand a bit more of how to play this game now. Um, one thing is we can hover over weapons to see what bonuses we get. So if we have two guns, we get plus 10 range. Up to six guns, we get 50. Things like that. Um, as well as the fact that... Um, yeah, different guns have different abilities, and picking up guns of the same type will give you more guns so that's definitely something to keep in mind we'll take that and we'll carry on i i really like the idea of doing like a bunch of shotguns um i might not go for 12 shotguns but also i kind of might <laughs> that seems like it could be a lot of fun like the shotguns they fall off kind of hard if you don't um level them up or get more of them but if you have a lot of them they got a little bit of piercing to them they got a nice amount of spread i think they're really fun to use um, shotguns? I don't know, shotguns are just generally some of my favourite weapons in a lot of games, I'll be honest. Um, we'll go with range damage here. Cute Monkey is pretty good early on. I think I'll take Cute Monkey. And honestly, I'll lock in the landmines as well. But yeah, we probably want to be taking most uh, ranged weapons when we can. I'm probably not going to take anything melee related. We might, if we die early, we, we might be able to do another run anyways and go for melee on that one. Or we might be able to do a six and six sort of thing where we do a bunch of melee and a bunch of um, guns. But I'd really like to get up to the level where uh, we're getting miniguns. Because I think essentially when we got the minigun last time, it's because we had a lot of guns already. Um, when you have a lot of a similar type, it gives you better versions, higher levels and better ones within that tier which is kind of an interesting way of doing it um attack speed is probably important but i'm gonna take hp while we're here um the shredder does count as a gun and explosives so we'll take that we'll grab the landmines as well because that's also some extra explosives the landmines on their own aren't that good but if you get a bit, bunch of engineering um they could be pretty good also apparently the screwdriver is a weapon that spawns landmines which could be pretty good uh, our difficulty modifier did say new enemies. I've not seen any yet, so... Okay, I was just about to say, I'm wondering when they're going to show up. Already got them. So these are um, new shooting, shooting enemies, which is definitely going to add to the difficulty. Oh, hello. We can get um, some good bonuses from killing this guy. I will sacrifice some health to kill this dude. There you go. Oh, what? He didn't even give us a box. Um, 20 materials when we pick up a box is really good. Um, go for more max HP here. Try and count. Ah, no, let's go for attack speed because using shotguns here. Medical gun is decent, but I'm going to roll it. Uh, we'll go for the baby gecko, though. I'm going to roll that. Double barreled again. SMG, thank you. Helmet's good, but I don't think it's really what we want to take right now. But yeah, now we've really got a good a good suite of weaponry going on here. The SMG's got a little bit more range for us on obviously a faster firing, so it makes up for the lower speed of the shotguns. Which is kind of nice. Try and get the trees enough we can here. We've got to watch out for those new enemies. I don't know how often they're going to spawn, but they seem pretty tricky. And I'm, I'm sure there'll be a few others later down the line as well. In terms of new enemies on the later waves. I think there has been a balancing patch since I last played as well. I'm not exactly sure what changed, but I think a few of the waves got a slightly reduced amount of enemies and stuff from what I saw. I'm not 100% sure if that's true. Something that I saw, but I'm, I'm not. Okay, so we'll take some armor here. Um, white flag's pretty good. Ooh. 
I think Insanity's pretty good here, and Laser Gun's also pretty good. That's another gun. So we're at six weapons now, which is normally the max, but remember, we can go all the way to 12. So we do have this Medic Gun to hopefully heal us a little bit here. It does have a bit of lifesteal on it. Give me some boxes, please, game. That'd be lovely. And we don't have a ton of damage right now. You've got to remember, for every um, weapon that we take, we are losing some damage. Yeah, these new enemies are tricky. They're spawning um, shots, like, all over the place. We're probably going to need to take a little bit more healing early on, as opposed to normal. Yeah, because I am getting hit a lot by these shots. Wow. Yeah, unfortunately, I lost that run pretty early on there. That's going to be a bit of a learning curve for us. We'll, of course, just retry on this. But that is definitely going to be a bit of a learning curve for us. I think um, the new enemies, we're just going to have to get used to them. But also, we're probably going to have to take a little bit more sustainability earlier on than we would normally. Just because normally we don't have to deal with a lot of shots on screen. And they're honestly some of the hardest things to deal with, in my opinion. Okay, good. Harvesting early could be a lot of fun. And uh, knockback is really good here. Um, I don't think we want to lock anything or reroll. I realize not uh, having one gun isn't great, but honestly, giving it knockback for any enemies that you don't kill in a single shot, which right now I don't think is any, but that's going to be super useful. Try and get ourselves up to like 60 something for our money here. I'm kind of being a bit uh, nonchalant about taking damage and stuff here. I don't really care. As long as I don't die, of course. I'm kind of just running into enemies. Because we'll heal at the end of the round. Armor's good. I think, wh what does one armor do for us? One piece of armor is only a 9% reduction. Okay, so we'll take a pistol here. I think I think acid's a pretty good one to lock in. Um, the scepter is a ranged weapon. It is ethereal, so it doesn't count as a gun, but I think it's worth taking anyways. We can take a look, actually. Ethereal is going to be increased dodge for minus armor. So taking on an ethereal build does cost you some armor, but dodge seems good. Also, I I've never really played around with dodge, I'll be honest, but I think dodge is one of those ones that it gets better when there's more projectiles on screen as opposed to actual, actual hits. So maybe with these new enemies that we're introducing at these later waves, it might be more conducive to build slightly heavily more towards dodge. I feel like as well with dodge, you, you really don't get much value until you get it above like 20%. Before that, it's a little tricky to really rely on. There's some more armor there. We'll go with speed. Definitely with a max HP. We'll also go with this as well. This is definitely a risk because we could die in a single hit here. But I thought better to risk it early on in a run because we've got plenty of time to redo runs. I'm, I'm fine with starting over if we need to. I'm hoping we just get an early tree and that'll uh, give us a fruit which will bring us back. Okay, we do have these guys. We've not gained a single piece of HP yet. I was hoping that um, either our scepter would give us some max HP or... Um... Oh, we got one of these dudes. I don't even think it's plausible for us to kill this guy, is it? No, not really. We did survive. We get that and that. Good, good. Yeah, I'm not sure what to think of the scepter. It's not really doing a great job right now, is it? But I think, I think with this guy, we need to be buying up every weapon we see and then sorting out what weapons we want a little bit later on. I've also heard there's a tactic of Always leaving at least one weapon slot open so that more weapons spawn in the shops. So I might try and do that on occasion. I don't know how valid of a tactic that is. I've just seen it in a few comment sections of a few different YouTubers. It seems it seems plausible that that makes sense. So I'm kind of inclined to believe it. Okay, good. We got a good amount of money here. Duct tape. I'm, I'm going to take duct tape. More harvesting early on. We've, we've already lost a lot of dodge, so we can't really go for dodge here. Let's try reroll. Plus four engineering. Do we have landmines? I'm going to take engineering anyways. We don't have landmines at the minute. Ooh, sword will lock that in. Go with that, and then that. Sword seems like it could be good. We definitely need to regain some of the damage we lost, because we're already losing 16%. And the thing is as well, 
We're only at six weapons so far, so losing 16% is just 16% we shouldn't be losing if we're only at six weapons, because we can get six weapons as every other character, so that's just a straight loss. Yeah, the ways with these new enemies are certainly going to be the tricky ones. I think if we focus fire them, though, better off. I, I think the they essentially seem to shoot a shot every time, um, every time we hit them. So they're pretty tricky. You can certainly tell the damage is, is falling off already. Good though. Um, more engineering. Take that, take that. I don't really think the Cacti Club is for us. But now we have a good amount of weapons, but we are down to 28% loss of damage. Which is pretty a pretty huge loss. So we better hope that the things we just picked up make up for it. We really need items to counteract that immediately. I really should be taking the uh, the, the upgrades from leveling up, really, shouldn't I? For, for damage percent. That would probably be the best way to do it. The sword is really good, so I'm trying to stay up close and personal. Dude, these dashing snails. I mean, that makes it sound like I, I think they look really nice. <laughs> Not dashing that way. Let's, I'm going to retry a few times with this guy because I like the idea of this dude. We just need to focus a little more on our on how we build things early on. I think we're losing way too much damage off the bat. We need to pay a bit more attention to that. I think I need to take damage at basically every opportunity um, when we level up. And then take health and regen on our items when we can. So damage is here, 5%. Pickup radius is pretty much always a must for me. We might as well take a fist as well. Pickup radius early on. The earlier, the better, really. It's going to mean so much. Obviously, there's less enemies, so it doesn't matter as much. But still, it's less running around that we have to do. We need to focus a little more on dodging, a little less on actually picking things up. Okay. No damage this time around. I'm going to re-roll and try and get damage. I didn't get it. Let's take maximum HP. Let's take... Let's take Weird Ghost. We'll stick with that. I didn't want to take the one because I don't want to get hard into Elemental because this build really doesn't work for Elemental, I don't think. Now, the only way we can heal this round is via a tree, so we've got to be very careful about getting hit. Like, I'd like to get my materials, but I'm not going to risk my life for it. There you go. Attack speed could be good. Flamethrower is kind of nice. That's that is elemental, but still. Uh, and I'm gonna I'm gonna lock in all of these. I've never really used the flamethrower much. I realised that is elemental, which I thought I just I didn't want, but it's also a flamethrower, not a wand. So I don't know. It feels more at my alley. And honestly, it's doing a real good job. It's doing a real good job because actually thinking about it, I don't think I don't think the fire is affected by a percent damage. So maybe it's better to go with elemental. I don't know. Seems like a viable strategy. Also, the we've got sort of the, the idea of set it and forget it, where we can burn an enemy and then just kind of run away. Damage for max HP, I'll take that. Lifesteal, I'll take that. Max HP, I'll take that. And then we want to take the lightning shiv, the trees, the bag. Let's go. The Lightning Shiv, I, I've not really worked with much before, and I don't even know what type it is, to be honest. Precise and Elemental. So maybe we are going for an Elemental build. I said I wasn't, but it seems like we're heading down that tree. But I, I think the Lightning Shiv's pretty good, because it, it arcs the electricity between enemies, I'm pretty sure. So it's got a bit of an AoE effect to it. Also, more trees is going to be super useful for healing up, and hopefully for getting a few more items. Good. There's another tree up there. 
Also, the flamethrowers are really good for taking out the trees. Which at least, at least until we get Lumberjack is going to be good. Attack speed now, I think. Wrench is kind of an interesting one because that's just a tool. I think we'll take burn. I think we'll take attack speed, honestly. Let's re-roll. We'll take that. I think we'll leave it there. But yeah, like, not not gaining too many weapons early is maybe a better strategy so we don't lose too much damage. And we try and go for the uh, weapons a little bit later on. Unless the right ones show up, of course. I think if the right weapons show up, it makes more sense. But at the minute, I think if we just get weapons that are kind of not really right for us or don't feel right for us, we don't need to take them. We really need to take care of those guys pretty quickly because they can drop a lot. Like, look, look how many shots that guy threw out. That's insane. If a few of those guys spawn, they really do cover the screen in shots. Oh my god. It seems like the more hits we put on them, the worse they are. So flamethrowers are really bad for those dudes because they kill them slowly, which means we fire more shots. It's tricky. I'll recycle that. That's, that's a bit risky. Um, we'll go with crit chance here. We'll take a double barreled. I think we do take the medal here. And I think we take the fist. And I think we take the mutation as well. I think that's pretty good going there. Losing a bit of speed is bad now. but um, uh, Sorry, bad later, but okay now. So I think as long as we can make up for it later on, we should be okay. I don't know. This feels like a very forced together run. Also, I have no idea how I'm going to make the thumbnail work for this run with 12 weapons. It's going to be a little bit uh, crazy. Is this guy healing enemies? Get a little healing symbol on him. What am we on right now? We're only on one. Really, I, I like to be at like six or seven, at least. Three. Three. Okay, good. Got a lot of money that time. Oh, hello, it's Alexa. Spawns a little guy that slowly shoots piercing lightning projectiles around him for 10. Okay, we'll definitely take Alexa there. Baby elephant. That's not really great for us right now. I think we'll take some life steal here. 20% attack speed. Hell yes. I think we'll take that. I will look as... Um, uh, we don't have any HP regen, actually. Let's not bother with that. Let's go with the medical gun here. Let's go with the toxic sludge. Shuriken, laser gun, white flag. We're down to minus 21%. We've got 9 out of our 12 guns. Let's focus on only damage now. I, th I think our damage is a lot better than it has been previously, though, with the weapons we have. These are, these weapons are very, very, like, sewn together. Like, we don't have any sort of cohesion between uh, the weapons we're using right now. But we'll, um, we'll make do. Honestly, I'd love to get more, more um, flamethrowers. Get those trees over there. Sadly, nothing great. We got, got Gather a Five as an achievement there. Oh, we got a uh, big boy. Uh, he's not a new enemy, but he is showing up earlier than normal. Okay, nice. <laughs> Max HP or armor? I think armor is probably best right now. Thief dagger. Nah, let's roll on that. Trees die in one hit, always. Shuriken, yes. Incendiary turret, let's go. Okay, great. So we're currently at minus 27% damage, but how many weapons do we have now? We have 10 of 12. 
really cool seeing all these weapons. One of the things I love about this game. You know, the whole lot of weapons at once. It's so cool. Such a unique way of doing it. Oh my gosh. We're killing enemies in droves right now. But the little guys just get melted. The big guy's still problematic. The little dudes got damn they die fast. Tree over there, we'll try and get it. That's a lot of materials this round as well. A lot. That's a lot of materials that round. More attack speed, I'm gonna go for that again. HP regen will go for. Another sword is good. We'll take life steal there. Roll it. That's that's a scary one, but I like it. What's that crit chance right now? That'd be pretty good. Okay, we got our 12 weapons now. We're at minus 34%. But I think the stuff we got going on is pretty good. Sword is kind of a kind of a mismatch between everything else. It doesn't really belong. Because it's a melee weapon. But we'll make some use out of it, I'm sure. And obviously now we've got life steal plus um plus regen. We should be okay for HP for the most part of these waves. Maybe we need to go for a bit more range. What's our range looking like? Yeah, range is only 55. Well, which isn't terrible. It's doing the job, but maybe do it a little bit more. Yeah. Trees kind of saved our life a little bit there. Making our way through. I was like cutting through the middle to get all the materials. Nice, got another crate there. Recycle that. Elemental damage is probably pretty good here. We'll chip, we'll take that. Alloy. Range damage, crit chance, yes, we'll take that. Take a lightning shift, we'll take a laser gun. We'll reroll on this. Um I think I'm going to recycle my fists. Oh, I should have combined it, though. I didn't realize I had another one. My bad. A bit stupid of me. But yeah, the, the lightning shifts are melee, but they have got an element of range to them. Oh, dude, I almost died there. I need to be very careful right now. That enemy hit me twice. Oh, God. These big dudes are uh, proving very problematic. We don't kill them very fast at all, and they deal insane damage to us. We really need a lot more armor with our current setup, I think. These new enemies are really brutal. But, an extra difficulty, that's kind of how it should be. Kind of what I signed up for. I think this wave is all about just surviving. I don't really care if I don't get all the materials. I don't really care if I miss all the trees. Just try and stay alive, please. There is a lot of enemies here that can very much insta-kill me. Nice. We got a lot of money anyways. Damage will take. Again, damage will take. Another flamethrower there. Awesome. That just upgraded the one we already had. Free reroll in the shop's pretty good. Armor and dodge for max HP. I'll take that as well. And I'll go... Free reroll is actually really good because you can reroll and lock things in for later. I don't think we want to do that right now. Actually, do you know what? I'll lock that in. I'll lock the campfire in. What's our speed at? Our speed is minus a little bit, but I think we can afford to lose some more for some HP regen. But yeah, getting the flamethrower leveled up here, pretty awesome. Yeah, really don't like those big guys, but they're going down a lot faster now with this flamethrower. We have a lot of times two on our materials here. Like a lot of times two. We only just ran out of times two. 
Good that the big guys kind of like to get away from you and then come back and charge. Gives us a lot of like reprieve. A little bit of a, a little bit of a chance to, to regain our composure. Ooh, one second. Let me just pause. Cool. I just uh, remembered that I wanted to tell the developer to add options to add a customizable um, reticle. Like your mouse pointer. Because it's really, really hard to see the uh, thing later on. We figured that out a few times. Good. Another good round. Range damage. We could go with attack speed again. All of these are good. I'm going to set the attack speed. Pick the fire. I'm going to re-roll this. Another free re-roll is great. I'm going to lock this in. Re-roll the rest. I'm going to lock that in as well. I'm going to lock that in as well. Oh, I can already buy that and that's nice. Okay, cool. Let's go. Like having all these extra turrets and stuff to help us out. Nice to know that the Alexa uh, item works based on engineering as well. I'm sure he'll be very happy about that. Okay, we are onto the uh, the extra waves now, the ones that start really mattering. We are still taking quite a lot of damage uh, from our hits. We're still at pretty low armor in the grand scheme of things. And our maximum HP is also pretty darn low as well, to be honest. I mean, we're healing up pretty quick, but two big hits could kill us is, is sort of the problem right now. Exactly like that. Okay, we're getting the hang of this guy. I think we're going to retry as him. Uh, I'm definitely going to um, go back to the main menu and start with a different weapon, though. While I love the shotgun, it's, it's just not really doing it for me right now. Um, I could go with the stick. That would be interesting. That That's a really funny idea, actually. Because stick, the more sticks you have, the more damage they gain. So what if we got 12 sticks? <laughs> like, I'm not saying that's going to happen, but how good would that be? How good would that be? So melee damage, definitely. More trees spawn. Reroll. Reroll. We'll take that. More tree spawn early on is, is pretty insane. I just took the torch as it's primitive, which should mean more primitive weapons uh, come in. Also, primitive gives max HP. It's kind of nice. Okay, the trees are a little bit hard to take down with our current damage. Sadly, not much from the trees there. Um, Lifesteal, maybe? This is not a good idea what I'm doing right now. Stick. Good. Stick. Stick. Yes. Okay. It's happening. It's happening. The mega stick build. I like it. We eventually start to get upgraded sticks on top of that. Also, good thing about sticks is they're going to be pretty damn cheap. Range is probably pretty good here. Stick. That's primitive as well, so we'll take that. Stick. That's also primitive, so we can lock that in at least. I'll lock that in too. 
Okay, already we're getting 20 per stick. That's pretty darn good. I've never done a full primitive build either, so this is kind of a, a mix between the two. We're getting extra max HP off it, which is really nice. Okay, we're into some of the new enemies here. Of course, these new enemies seem like they're going to be really hard with melee, actually. I have a lot of ways to heal right now, so let's be careful. Good. good. Life steal will take. Melee damage, yes. Life steal will take. Cacti club will take you for now. I lock that in and reroll. Grab that and then lock that one in as well. The sticks will come with time. So far, the amount of sticks we have is already good enough. They're already carrying in terms of damage. Do remember that we do lose a bit of damage for each stick we take. We gain a bit more because each stick adds on plus four. And then when they level up, they add plus more each time. So as we level our sticks up, it'll, it'll scale quite a lot. More items. Good, good. We just want to get as much money as possible, to, basically to facilitate re-rolling like a madman for a bunch of wasted money. Re-rolling like I am is definitely a waste, but I'm going to keep doing it. Beautiful. That's really good. We'll take that. More lifesteal. Another primitive tool. There you go. Another primitive tool there. And we want to leave our last slot open. So we take the Cacti Club, then after that we don't take any more. And we just hope that we find more sticks. I honestly don't know if I'm really doing this right in terms of the stick build, but I think so. I think it's working reasonably okay. Yeah, these flying dudes as a melee character are going to be a pain. You're right in the thick of it next to all the shots. At least they're dying quicker, so they're not getting as many chances to shoot. They're not shooting as many shots as they would otherwise. Lots of trees about. We've got a lot of lifesteal going right now as well, which is nice. Recycle. HP regen. I'll take that. Cacti Club. Okay, so now... We're at 11, so we don't, take, we don't buy any more weapons unless there's something we really want. And I just found some things, some things I really want there, so I'm going to get rid of... Wait, 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 wait. Um, yeah, I'm going to recycle that. I'm going to take a spear here. Spear here. And I'm going to lock that in because I do want another spear. I'm going to trade the spear for the torch. In fact, I'm just going to recycle the torch. It's not getting much use anyways. But the spear is just really good because it has crazy good range. It also has very good damage too, but it is slow. It does count as primitive, right? I didn't actually check that. It does good. I thought it would. I was like, I, I don't know how a spear wouldn't count as primitive, but I had to make sure. I love it when enemies spawn in big groups like that and you just get a bunch of materials in one big clump. Feels really satisfying to pick them all up. Also, one thing I've got to say with this game, the music and the sound design of like picking up materials and the menuing and everything is so satisfying. What a great job. Just making everything you do feel so satisfying to do. There's a lot of materials this time around as well. Really good. Take that. More life steal. Max HP will take that. And then, yeah, we'll take, we'll take this. Sadly, we're not seeing any, um, any more sticks right now. Take that. Another spear there, we'll lock that in. Well, sadly, sticks are sticks are hard to come by right now. I am spending a lot of my money on re-rolling, but I think that's fine.
Maybe, I, I don't know if it's having other weapons that's causing sticks to not show up, or if it's just me getting unlucky. It might just be that I'm unlucky. But maybe, maybe having other weapons means that sticks are less likely to show up. But they're all primitive, so I thought with sticks being primitive, primitive weapons should show up and it passes one of them. But we are seeing, still seeing primitive weapons, so maybe we're just, like I said, getting unlucky with it. Okay, big guy, let's try and take you out first. There you go, nice. I love the fact with manual fire that you can focus on a specific enemy, even if it's behind other enemies. Because melee technically just inherently has piercing, so... You can focus down the enemies who you want to focus down. I don't know how much our lifesteal is doing right now. You have a, your attacks have a 9% chance to heal you to one HP. So lifesteal doesn't like give you back a percent of your damage like I thought it did. It's just a percent of healing. That was a really bad round for money for me. Uh, we don't really care about that. Um, damage is good. Spear is good. Oh, that's my 12th weapon. Um, let's recycle that one. Another spear. Um, combined. Grab. Stick. Good. Um, hmm. I think I get rid of the cacti club and grab another stick, even though it's only a level one. Good, good. This is good. I like this. I think, honestly, I want to keep a few spears in the mix for, for the whole time. Just because of that extra reach that they've got. Take out, like, a full group of enemies in a single hit. Oh my god, that's so satisfying. Holy hell. Melee builds are so much fun. And honestly, yeah, I think I think the lifesteal that we've got going on right now is real good with the amount of weapons that we got. Because it's like each time a weapon hits, but we're hitting so often because we have so many weapons. Three boxes this wave. I like that. A lot of money too. Uh, yeah, I'll take that. Yes, I'll take that. Yes, I'll take that. I think I'm going to take the speed, honestly. And the damage. So here's another spear. So we can actually take that to... Oopsie. Um, combined. Roll. Another medal. I'm always going to take medals. Your attacks have a 60% less chance of dealing more damage. Okay, that's fine. Minus two lifesteal for 30% XP gain. That's pretty good, but I'm not going to take that. Take that. Another spear. Good, good, good. Okay. We are spending so much money on re-rolling. I realize that that's just kind of dumb. But honestly, the fact that we're at wave 10 and HP's looking real nice. Lifesteal's helping out a bunch. We've got a bunch of sticks. The spears are looking really good as well. I think it's working out. I also think this tactic of not taking, not filling our 12th slot is, is actually working really well. I'm seeing a, a big uptick in the amount of weapons we're seeing. I don't know if you guys are as well, but I definitely feel like we are. But we're seeing some of the later wave enemies now earlier as well here, look. I'm trying to take out the big guys when I can here, just so they don't overwhelm me. I tried to just run to the other side of the stage there. Didn't really work out in my favor. But I think we're good here anyways. Good. Recycle that. Go with a range here. I think this is pretty good actually. I'm 
I'm gonna take that. Okay. 2% regen for every minus one speed you have. Ah, that doesn't work for us. Um... Combine to take another stick. And combine to lock that in. Okay. Yeah, these big guys are going down a lot faster than they were last time. That couch thing seemed like it was going to be really good, but you need a l very low speed to make that work. At first, I thought it was high speed that made it work, and I was like, oh, damn. So good for us. Sadly not. One thing we are missing is, like, more armor. We're, we're okay on armor right now, but we're not great. We're getting some big hits now, though. Good. Tree there as well, grab that. Really good money that round. Recycle that. Take that. Take the armor, there you go. Grab another stick. We re-roll now. There's another spear here. Um, we can take that to combined. There's another stick. Um, on bullet deal, one bullet dealing three damage is fired from an enemy corpse when they die. But we lose forty range for that, and our range is not very high. So I think I don't think we can take that. Take that. That's pretty good. We'll lock that in, and we'll lock that in as well. Okay, our sticks should be doing quite a lot now. We've got quite a few blue ones. Um, so, stick is 41, and it's plus 6 per stick. And these are doing 38. So, our sticks are actually doing more than our spears right now, which is kind of surprising. So, we probably want to switch over to all sticks pretty soon. Because, yeah, the spears have actually fallen off now, which is surprising. But... We knew it would happen at some point. What's our life seal at the minute? 11, nice. Definitely to keep keep that going though. It's our only really form of regaining health right now. Yeah, don't worry too much about things right now. I'll take out all these big guys that are up here. I've trapped myself in the corner a little bit here. Let's move ourselves away from that little trap there. Tree here. I love it when a tree just spawns on you and then you get to kill it straight away. Okay, let's go for money now. Good, good. Plus armor, I think, here. Pick up radius. Speed. Yeah, we'll take that. Roll. Roll. Ooh. Legendary um, slingshot that does it does 26 damage. It does have life steal on it too, which I'm surprised at. I mean, everything seems to have life steal on it at the minute. Oh, that's because we have life steal there. I see. Okay, lock that in. Lock that in. I think we trade out two of our spears. Well, our slingshot and two of our spears or something. We'll see. Do. I'll lock that in any... Uh, uh, yeah. Nah, I don't think I'll need it. I don't think I'll need it. Is this wave 13? Wave 13 is not too bad at all. We do have the uh, the shooting guys, which can be a bit, a bit problematic. But for the most part, there shouldn't be a super hard wave for us. It's an, it, it's, it's, like I said, it's one of those introductory rounds where it's showing us new enemies. Um, so it, it's kind of tame. 
Although we do have a lot more shooting enemies now, which is problematic for us. We've also got a big guy in here who did manage to hit me. Taking a lot of hits here. Let's uh, try and stop that from happening anymore. I got some good dodges then. I don't know if we want to try and kill those enemies that shoot as quickly as possible or avoid shooting them all together. I'm not sure which is more profitable. Yeah. Okay, so we want to get rid of... Recycle this and take stick and then recycle... Wait, no, we combine this and take stick. Okay. We're in a good spot now. Let's try and get some more sticks. There's another stick, so we go combine and buy. Good, good. So our sticks, what are they doing now? 51. Oh, this guy spawns a bunch of enemies when he dies. Okay. Have to watch out for that. These little shooter dudes are a pain. One thing we've got to realize now as well is we don't have a lot of range. Um, in terms of our stat. Actually, we have, we have a good amount in our stat, but in terms of actual sticks, they don't go too far. We already have to watch out for that pretty heavily. Damage-wise, though, I think we're sitting pretty. Uh, I, I'd say that we're a little bit... a little bit lacking in the defense department right now. Our defenses aren't great. This is a very hard wave here. I could see this wave being a problem. There's just so much things shooting me. I think I need to take out some of this big crowd up top. That, that worked out. That somehow worked really well. Okay, that was good. Yes. And... Ooh, this is a tricky one, but I think I'll go for the attack speed. Yes. Right, let's try and get some healing stuff here if we can. One free reroll is really good. Another stick there, good. We've only got one regular stick remaining now. And we've got two spears and a blank spot. But yeah, I think attack speed is huge, especially when it gives us 20%. I would have loved to have taken the HP, though. Ooh, what are these guys? These are new. But these are like, um... Okay, they're interesting. So, while they're alive, they kind of orbit a bullet around them. It disappears the moment we kill them, though. So, they're not that deadly. But they are going to be slightly, um... Slightly damning to certain locations. If, the, if a lot of them end up spawning in one place... I don't think I want to stick in one place like I just was then, to be honest. I was thinking that could be a good tactic, but honestly, it just means everything's shooting at one place. We actually got a dodge there, surprisingly. Get some 92 hits here, that's crazy. Very little money that wave, but not much we can do about that. We'll take the medical turret. Extra life steals huge for us right now. Free roll. Take that. There's another stick. We'll lock that in. That's a crazy circular star. That's got a lot of life steal on it. Sad. We'll just keep the stick locked in there. I don't know. I feel like this could be the end of us. Once we get the rage enemies coming in, this is... We've got new enemies inbound. We've got good damage, but... Even with that extra life steal at 15%, our sustain is not great, and our maximum HP is... It's good, but it's not great. I'm definitely learning, sort of, where my limits lie with this game, and when my build is good enough and, and isn't. Which is nice. I'm kind of getting to that point now. 
This one feels like it's, it's great. But I just don't know if it's quite there. I mean, look how much damage that, that, that red enemy just hit me for. So much. I mean, if we can kill them before they can do anything, then it's fair enough. Easy peasy. That's not always going to happen, is it? Good. Good money that wave as well. Turret as well. Damage will take. But here's the extra stick, so I think we unbind and grab. Um, definitely take some more armor here. Hammer. What's our speed at right now? Our speed is very fast. I don't know what we're getting so much speed from, to be honest. I think we can suff uh, suffer some speed loss for some HP regen, to be honest. Ooh. I need a 10% chance to explode for 17. I'll take that. Okay, our sticks. 61, 78. Very good. Okay, wave 17. Definitely a tricky one. But again, it's one of those introductory waves where it's just showing us a new enemy. So it's not crazy hard. Or is this a new enemy? It might not be, actually. I'm, I'm completely wrong about that. I can't remember when these guys show up. But either way, we're doing a good job with them. I do not like the, um, the red versions of the shooter boys that are just dancing around the place. Those dudes with the spinning shots are real deadly. Not much money that way at all. Definitely take that. We'll lock that in as well. Our crit chance is so dead, so I don't care about that. I'll lock that in too. I should always go for a free reroll, to be honest. I don't know why I didn't that time. So, we've got a chance. We've got a chance here. I, I'm, I'm still not convinced. I think I'm, I'm, I think my maximum HP is too low. It's just... It's taken us too... When we get hit, it's taken us too long to regain the health that we lost when we got hit. And also, red versions of these enemies are showing up way more regularly now. Yeah, honestly, the big dudes, I think I'm just going to kind of leave. <laughs> if we can. Like, we can't always leave them, but if we leave the big dudes, we, um, we don't get as many shooters. Which I really like. Like, we're just about surviving here, but we're not thriving. Okay, good. Damage from max HP, no way. No. Honestly, 1% life steal is pretty good right now. Buy both of those. Ooh, that's very good. Also, eh, that's not that great, actually. Okay. I think this is one of the really, really, like, 19 is obviously the last, uh, second before our last wave. And this is going to be the ones that really challenges us. Just because I think this is one of the ones where enemies aren't particularly, it's not like it's just a ton of hard enemies, but it's just an overwhelming amount of enemies. From what I remember last time. And honestly, this build isn't really great at taking out huge hordes. Things get so close to them. Like, look how much damage we just took. Yeah, we're dead. That that big dude just kind of sat on top of me there. Either way, we're going to leave it there. That was a really fun run. Um, a stick build is amazing. Uh, I, I wish I got more sticks either way. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one.